Hey guys, we're here at CES 2011 in our trailer, and we have Ted from Red here. Hey, with a very special surprise. This is the Red Scarlet. We've been hearing about this for what is it, three years now? Yeah, and, three years. Uh, I actually have in my uh, my Twitter that I want to live in a world where this camera exists, and it actually exists now. So it does exist. This is a uh, engineering. This isn't final final build, but it's working. And uh, there, he's here to demo, so we're going to go through some of the features of it. Um, so yeah, the, first off, let's let's take a look at this screen, um, guys. This is the this is the touch screen. So if you've ever driven red before, uh, then it's, it's a very like similar it. look, but it's actually. Your own gadget logo. How's that? Oh yeah, there we go. Is the so, glare okay there? You seeing okay? You see you guys? Mm -hmm. All right. So you know you can adjust your white balance. It's all here. You know you can actually uh, adjust within. You can you take can the ISO up. Take the ISO up. Change and then the iris. Obviously, there are manual controls for all this, yes. but. Uh, there's controls here, here, here. There's like four different ways to control it. And, uh, so I can control it from the hand grip. I can control it from the red mode, which I can take off the camera, and I can give you this to control right. wirelessly. Which and, is cool. and so is there monitoring on this as well? Or is no, this, this is all status, advanced status. status display. So it's basically all the, different, uh, all the different menus that you would see here. You have control of this from like 100 feet away from the camera. Great. And you can basically drive the camera. You can roll it. You can stop it. Perfect. You can roll multiple cameras, um, stop multiple cameras. You can tell it to play back clips, and they'll play back on this monitor or the HDMI or however you want to drive it out to the world. Oh, that's awesome. So let me see. Uh, also, we, 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 they also said that we're going to have, they're going to have touch to focus, actually, on the, on the retail model. Yeah, when model. you tap this half, so. it'll, it'll go into a focus mode. And yeah, and so there's autofocus. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, all right, so let's take a look at this lens real quick for you guys. So this sure. is the uh, fixed model, yeah, Scarlett. Yeah, this is an 8 by zoom on here. Yep, and we said it was a roughly equivalent of, uh, what'd you say? Yeah, like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm terrible with the actual figures. I'm, yeah. the, I'm the strategy guy, right? Uh, it's but, fine. Uh, it's, it's all on the like web. It's about 28 to, 28 to uh, over 200, 200. Mil, so it'll so go deep in and pretty wide. Exactly, and so you, know, you saw just looking at the monitor, there's a pretty wide angle there, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, you've got manual focus here with the focus gears, and also uh, you know the autofocus. Yeah. Auto if you feel the lens, you know feel how that. Yeah, it's. I mean, this is like this a, is a, real a, lens. a pro lens. Yes. It feels. It doesn't feel at all. Uh, right. you know, it it's feels a, like a pro. It's a cinema quality lens. Exactly. Absolutely. And it look, it's about the size of a prime, so it's actually. Yeah. It's really very good. small prime. It's very very awesome. So. Um, okay, we also have this is a, like a dual purpose mode. This obviously you know it's a small package. This is made for stills and video. Um, you can turn this around. And what's uh, oh yeah, oh, there, that's, yeah, that's shoot awesome. that way. Yep. And so so we were saying you can shoot yourself. Oh, you know, how's that? Oh, that's pretty that. movie. Um, so we were also talking about doing stills mode. So while you're recording, this is a 3K. Correct. So this is a 3K camera. Yeah. Um, but it's so this is not a consumer level device. Right. This no. is this is, like this is a super high-end pro device. Right. Right. Just, so just in a tiny form factor. Yeah. Just for a little perspective for 3K, um, that's basically three times. The resolution of like a 1080. Yeah, uh, it's significantly uh, higher than 1080. Yeah, it's um, significantly higher. So you know, you're talking about giant frames um, of very high quality, and it records in RAW, actually right. red RAW. So you, it's just like when you're shooting on an SLR, uh, but in video, you know, at 24 frames per second. So what can you do 3K at any higher frame rates? Is it yeah, this will go up to 120 frames a second at 4 3K. At 3K. Okay, so that's 120 frames per second video, RAW images all in this box, so you know you, you don't even have to squeeze the shutter, you can literally video and be pulling raw stills at 120 And we can do second. short bursts to even higher frame rates, so, yeah, 150, so 180, you know, it's actually pretty incredible what we're, so you can and we're nowhere near done with all the specs, so right. we can keep working on it. So is there a, uh, you guys have any idea, I know you guys are always crazy with dates, but uh, when will it ship? Tomorrow. When, yeah, it's, it's, when it's ready is yeah, the official answer. Of course, of course. As you can see, it's a lot more ready than last year. It's a lot right? more ready than last year, so um, we're actually getting images It's out within of it. striking distance. We're taking pictures. I'll tell you, one of the really interesting things oh, um, yeah, that's yeah, bubbled yeah. up on the forum is people asking, well, okay, so Ted's running around with it. It's obviously working. Yeah, He's right. obviously taking pictures with it. Why aren't right. they showing pictures yet? And I'll tell you why, and I'll give you the real reason why, is because yeah. this is not a toy. This is a professional tool, and when we show the yeah. first images from this, I don't want them to be my runaround yeah. CES images, which will look fine, right. and you know, like this kind of stuff. But I want to give this to the hands of someone who's going to make amazing stuff that everybody's going to be totally blown away with the first time they see it. So you're sending me so the first one. Maybe you. <laughs> you have to show me your real. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You're up for the challenge. All right. So uh, I guess last question about audio um, on this. So mm -hmm. you know, how, what are your audio IOs? You guys are doing a modular design, so there's going yeah. to be a box that you can add to the right. back. That would have you know XLRs, yes. Phantom Power, stuff like that. Yeah, so let's see the back of this. So this is the red mode. Let me uh, reboot it for a second yeah. so that it, it recognizes the camera. All right. If you if you actually look, okay, there you go. Yeah, here we go. So this is the red mode. I forgot to charge that up, so it may die in a few minutes. And it's actually charging off the battery of the camera. This, yeah. 
And, but it can probably uh, hold for a little while now that we charge it. Yeah, and so you know you can control, you can start stop, uh, you can adjust settings. Yeah, when is. when you moved it, it was moving on here. So. Yep. So I don't know if you can see here. Yeah. See, I'm I'm moving this around. Yeah. Push it a little further away so they can see it's really wireless. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you see, I'm just click around. into it. So like, click into one of those. Oh yeah. So there you go. Yeah. You got it. All right, and so we go over here, and I'm just changing the settings and just making things look really ugly. So Pretty groovy, huh? No, this is awesome. So, uh, and, you know, the back just snaps on, but this is, you're going to be able to go modular, yeah, you'd right? Build, so you'd, you'd have pieces to the back. So for audio, you'd have an audio module that you'd snap on, then you'd have... You have audio right here, too. You've got two minis that you can plug in, oh, okay. mics, um, you know, and, and build a, you know, a little mic that goes on attached to it and stuff. But if you're doing high-end pro audio, mm -hmm. then you would put the module... Put the module on the back. Um, and so is there one so CF card in, in here right now? Or? This is this is the CF module. Okay. Um, so this would record to CF, which is one of the options for it. Okay. The other option is this piece can be replaced with an SSD module, the same oh, one great. that's working on the Epic. Right. right. Um, so that you can run for really long record times on the SSDs. That's which will have either one. And then you'll have an adapter to take. If you have the SSD module, there'll be an adapter to put a CF into a SSD holder so you don't have to take this on and off. To okay. So let's get a quick look before we do just show everyone the, the different ports that are on here. Just sure. on the it's kind of so. Would this be considered like stock? Like, yeah, relatively. I mean, you know, there's I mean, I know we're, we're still kind of working on it, but this is a this is a nice logical working configuration. You have the onboard touchscreen mm -hmm. LCD, five inch LCD. You have the hand grip. You have the red mode, and you have the camera. Right. So the camera is this piece, mm -hmm. this, and then the storage module. So gotcha. that's the unit, right? And then obviously, like for 3D applications, you strip this off. This goes to a back module, so you can go thinner, and then you can put the two cameras side by side. Oh, so you get the nice interocular. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's great, and uh, yeah. So this yeah, thing so is going to be you know insane for 3D. Oh right? yeah. So let's see the ports real quick on the bottom. Just our yeah. IOs. Uh, so that's for DC power, of course. You know, to run yep. it without a battery. Yep. In this case, the battery's in the grip. Right. Yep. So I have a small little battery. We saw him put the battery yeah. in the grip. Yeah. Um, and then there's uh, sync for 3D. There's 422 control. There's Giggy to send files in and out to do yep. software updates and whatnot. And then there's HDMI for 1080 monitoring. Perfect. So this thing is no slouch. Yep. I mean, it's pretty amazing. You know, you can't really even compare it to anything on the market um, in in this kind of range at all. This just right. kills. This kills. So, this so, kind of so thing. are these going to be in the same price range? Roughly. What does this cost these days? Uh, these are I don't know, three, four grand. Yeah. So this will be a little more than that, probably. Okay. Um, but we're still talking target ideas floating around the six thousand dollar price range for this kind of stuff. Well, so, so we, we just seen a couple of stuff from like Panasonic. They have AF, they have one hundred. Sony has the F three. This new kind of larger sensor stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and say this is like a completely different beast. This yeah. is blowing that out of the water already in terms of you know just the just the build quality for one and the, the you know the included lens. Uh, the zoom range. I was actually talking to someone shooting on F100 the other day who was saying that they were having some issues with the lens. Yeah, I mean, look, they're all really zoom. good cameras. They're great cameras, but they're kind of high really level prosumer devices. That's yep. what this is. It works well, it makes good pictures for interviews and things like that. But I wouldn't consider this a professional cinematography tool. No. This is a professional cinematography tool. This is like right. a junior version of an Epic. Right. Um, and, you know, the Epic is shooting, yeah. getting ready to shoot Hobbit, exactly. getting ready to shoot the new Aliens movie, getting ready to shoot the new Underworld movie, and yep. working on a big. Big big action 3D movie that I because I'm the press guy, I'm not allowed to tell you. All but right. you could probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, so we're here with the uh, the working Red Scarlet. Finally, so excited. There it this is. is. The highlight of my CES so far. But here we go. So yeah, from the Engadget trailer, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Chad. Thanks a lot Thanks for having me. See you, Ted. See you.